very good afternoon i know uh, on the previous live we did not have our guest there were some technical issues so we are starting it live again so welcome i am your emotional healing synergist i am an ayurvedic psychotherapist a passionate infopreneur edupreneur and medical writer i have assisted in scaling both ayurvedic and allopathic sectors that is medical sectors i am in a pursuit of you know mission to address promote propagate ayurveda and psychotherapy globally so on this discourse we are conducting a series of interviews and discussions on ayurveda mental health psychotherapy and related topics so the topic of discussion this afternoon is captivating mindset so there is a book called captivate by the author vanessa van edwards that book uh, actually refers to the science of succeeding people however that is not the topic we are discussing today we are discussing on captivating mindset so let me welcome my today's guest uh, to give you to get you two different perspectives uh, so our guest today is dr yogita sharma dr yogita sharma is a gbp counselor an nlp coach she is a devotee of brahma kumaris and a buddhist practitioner by gbp genetic brain profiling she has guided teens on career counseling and she helps mom preneurs to rewire their career that is work life balance so namaste yogita ji namaste good afternoon and i'm very sorry for the glitch uh, no 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 problem we we do have technical errors sometimes yeah. and uh, so on this note let's just start yeah so what according to you yogita ji is the captivating mindset uh, captivating mindset you know i'm just giving you example ki yeah. can you speak technical... a bit louder yogita ji a bit yeah, louder yeah. yeah so jo technical glitch abhi hua i'm just setting a example ki i'm not mentally upset what going right. on that's it <laughs> right so we are uh, you know ki uh, we are more aware next time right we jab we just uh, listen uh, you know ki just uh, take a lesson from that glitch right so i'm um, coming on the captivating mindset that captivating mindset refers to a state of mind and characterized by curiosity openness enthusiasm and an ability to engage and inspire others right through your actions through your words right so it involves having a positive and proactive attitude towards life seeking new experiences like i am seeking here and embracing you are seeking <laughs> yeah we are seeking exactly yeah so uh, and embracing the challenges what comes in our way so this yeah. is all about the capitative mindset okay how do you think one can achieve this captivating mindset uh captivating mindset you know ki we just develop it through our daily practices and i want to give you some key steps here that cultivate a positive mindset first so in whatever comes in your life in the daily routine that you just choose the positive one rather than focusing on the problematic things rather than focusing on the negative side focus on positive thoughts practice gratitude for what you have right and reframe negative situations into learning opportunities right so i think this glitch come in our life like uh, to set example today <laughs> exactly yeah and uh, second one is that embracing the curiosity why this glitch, glitch is coming in my life abhi right now so i just seek what uh, why i am not aware before that 
so there are some uh, you know lack of awareness that's why this glitch happens na so this give me a lesson for next time right and you know actively seek new knowledge and experiences right so uh, third one is that building a self confidence ki jo bhi aaya ho life mein glitch aa gaya whatever aaj ye glitch ne mere ko itna acha example de diya ki i'm just talking about this glitch only so this glitch comes in my life mera self confidence kam nahi hua right whatever comes in my life it's all right these are the situations if my mind says uh, mindset is you know ki captivating na i'm taking positive it's all right right so uh, for the, uh, these things uh, you know set the realistic goals ki next time mujhe abhi kya goal set karna hai ki mera network check karna hai mujhe aur sab cheeze mera microphone set karna hai whatever right so what the situation is we set the realistic goals and with baby steps we just uh, you know achieve them on the daily basis and then we celebrate our achievements so koi baat nahi hum live ja rahe hain i celebrate this thing in this moment so that is important and then we develop a strong communication communication skills and for that we learn to articulate our thoughts first effectively and listen listen actively and engage others in meaningful conversations right then now the last one not the least so many things are there but i am just saying this uh, last one that embracing the challenges and learning from failures so seek setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning and keep going despite the difficulties so what is coming in our way we just continue that is important that we continue i think to add to your uh, you know perspective i'll just add uh, a quote which i read to you know today and i believe so if we program our mind to a paradigm shift then our mindset changes yes. once our mindset changes the body acts accordingly the body changes so once the body starts changing our habits and behaviors change yeah. so once our habits and behaviors change then the results which we are uh, you know expecting also change their yeah. the results are progressive right and you know uh, one example there is an effect called pygmalion effect so what is this pygmalion effect this there was a greek sculptor named pygmalion so what he was doing is he was sculpting beautiful sculptures one day he sculpted a sculpture of a beautiful lady so he was in love with the so much that lady so much the sculpture the idol so much that he kissed the lady and they say in that era that the lady came into life oh great so what this means is whatever we want to create or achieve if we have in this yeah. if we can visualize in our mind and we can manifest it it actually becomes the reality right in the similar way we can actually have some visualization and do affirmations regularly to you know get our dream into reality this may right. be just an example but yes, yes. this is beautiful example i think beautiful right, yeah. <laughs> right. so a uh, third thing is what do you think is the benefits what are the benefits and the advantages of having a captivating mindset you know so, the power of influencing others so yeah so you know ki lots of benefits are there lots of uh, but i'm sharing some few with you so a greater sense of inspiration and enthusiasm for life is pulses when we have that captivating mindset and it's i think required in our daily life so this is very important that we have where we want the, this inspiration actually where we want this enthusiasm if our, if our mindset is captivating then automatically it pulses in our life right so we improved in personal development and growth as well this captivating mind and our you know connections and communication abilities are improved we have greater abilities adaptabilities and the capacity to recover from failures 
and it is increased innovation and creativity also right we have that curiosity that what is behind that and how can we do that so we all these things have when we have that captivating mindset right so this mindset gives us a greater ability to inspire and influence people because we have solution in our minds rather than focusing on problems oh my god glitch aa gaya acha nahi gaya life my mind is upset ab kya karu oh aaj ka to din hi kharab ho gaya no no i am finding the way to move forward so that is a captivating mindset so lots of benefits are there i'm just uh, you know giving you some of them that yeah, so many things I, are there i have heard that you know the captivate the people with a captivating mindset are contagious their aura is infectious ha <laughs> uh, you can say that <laughs> uh, because yeah. you know uh, if now uh, you are not even a bit upset about it your happiness and your aura is reflecting to me as well as my guests as well so the thing is and uh, to just to add to it i have another example <laughs> the thing is there is a scientist named Bra- brain van sink he is a behavioral uh, study scientist what he did was he does uh, you know innovations on food so what he did was in a dark room of like 100 people he gave them to eat yogurt and he made them close their eyes and the room was completely dark and what he did was he told them to tell that how much uh, strawberry flavor did they enjoy in that yogurt 50% of the audience said the strawberry flavor was excellent and 25% were said it was okay we felt some other flavor as well now the twist is it was not ch- uh, strawberry flavored yogurt it was actually chocolate flavored yogurt oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it is because he put that word strawberry in their brains their brain actually wanted to taste strawberry and yeah. it tasted strawberry so this is the way we program our mind right very nice our mind actually tasted <laughs> strawberry exactly so whatever comes in our way if uh, if we feel that oh my god situation is difficult so you know i can't change it i can't do it then we never change it never ever right so if we have that you know ki captivated uh, captivating mindset yes i can do it ho jayega it's all right it will happen and you make that happen so how will the captivating mindset do you think will influence the pro- personal and professional life what are the changes we observe so you know ki uh captivating mindset gives us uh, you know positive impact on both personal and professional life personally it can lead to a greater sense of fulfillment happiness and overall well being because if we are happy now so many hormones are released at that time in our body and automatically our body heal right so it allows individuals to approach challenges with resilience and optimism fostering personal growth and healthy relationships and uh, i'm coming on the professional side to professionally captivating mindset can enhance leadership skills inspire and motivate others what they are saying what they are doing they inspires right and foster the creativity and innovations and improve problem solving abilities so these two aspects are there that we are personally also you know uh, uh, very beautifully grow in our life rather than growth is everyone's life is natural wo hogi aaj ke baad kal ke baad kuch na kuch to chalega growth to hogi dheere dheere lekin captivating mindset ke sath jo growth hogi this gives us happiness more than others fulfillment can you give us a example uh, we are you know ki enjoying the life whatever situations are uh, you know ki whatever the situations is whatever comes in our life that time like i am just giving a today's example ki that gives uh, you know ki 
मेरी हैप्पीनेस को वो ग्लिच ना खराब करके नहीं गया मेरे जो फुलफिलमेंट था ना वो बिकॉज अगर ऐसा होता तो मैं नेक्स्ट लाइफ पे नहीं आती मैं मेरा माइंड सेट ओ नहीं नहीं हम कल करेंगे मेरा माइंड खराब हो गया ओ दिस ग्लिच में गिव मी द प्रॉब्लम उस टाइम पे हम नहीं जा सके इट्स ऑल राइट माई कैप्टिवेटिंग माइंड सेट आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग इट सो दिस कैप्टिवेटिंग माइंड सेट गिव मी दैट एंथुजियजम इट्स ऑल राइट एनर्जी टू गो फॉरवर्ड टू मूव फॉरवर्ड वट नेक्स्ट आई जस्ट फाइंड आउट द वे राइट सो आई थिंक दिस इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल टूडे yeah i do feel that the people can overcome low self esteem so there is a study which was conducted wherein 85% of the people have low self esteem so to you know um, getting out of that low self esteem is a very important thing even to get confidence to speak and you know one more thing what i felt is uh this um uh, after you know uh, whenever you have an emotional uh, throwback or an emotional setback or whenever you feel like you're depressed or your fe- emotions are uh, uh, you know um suppressed so what you can do is instead of sitting and thinking about this just distract it to some other things Yeah. some other positive things either it is reading either it is music right. or either it is something which you know which you like doing in it might be exercise yoga meditation whatever so it you it helps actually to come back to uh, you know the original state yeah so uh, and uh, one more thing is ayurveda says that you know in ayurveda also manas plays an important role as you know so the overall health according to ayurveda is samadosha samagnischa samadhatu malakriya prasanna atma indriya manah swastha ityapi diyate so samadoshas what we call you know um vata pitta and kapha i think you must be knowing it should be yeah. the polity doshas dhatus we have seven dhatus according to ayurveda and the digestive fire and the malas are expelled the mala uh, the swe mootra the feces and uh, the stools and the sweat if expelled properly if all these things are proper with happy mind happy senses happy atma then it is called swastha according to ayurveda so yeah. a complete you know a whole wholesome you know happiness is like for me is uh, captivating and um, i have heard also this like live for a purpose not for perfection yes very right so i feel we have to uh, we have to come out of this perfectionist mindset yeah i already i already lost 15 years in this perfectionism okay. i already i, 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 I am in the progress <laughs> for me it is work in progress <laughs> yes yes very right okay so the next question could be um see whether the this captivating mindset is genetic or it is developed and uh, people say you no know, people are born with talents what do you think is this captivating mindset like genetic or it is rather developed both both things are there i think because uh, some people are blessed they have that captivating mindset they have that type of situations so wo captivating mindset grow bhi hota hai usi direction mein but uh, you know ki i'm not uh, believing on that ki this is only genetic i'm saying both are there but i'm not saying only genetic because uh, after few time na after few years after few some after few, uh, some time we just uh, have that feeling within that this mindset is required actually to handle the situation to deal with people so you know ki dheere dheere humko lagne lagta hai aur hum is cheez ke liye aage badhte hain ki hame ye captive aisa banna hai like hame uske jaisa resilient mind chahiye ऐसा ब्रह्मा कुमारी शिवानी इज लुकिंग सो पीसफुल काम 
so i am just uh, you know want that type of life state so kini kini ko dekh ke leaders ko dekh ke kini logo ko dekh ke humme wo cheeze aati hain ki hame bhi waisa mind chahiye what they are doing for that so we just follow that right so this is acquired also i'm not saying this is only genetic this is acquired also so both things are there i think okay you're saying that it is a skill that can be developed over a period of time yeah yeah so i can take this into an emotional metamorphosis stage as well so yeah. metamorphosis metamorphosing is transforming so it is a mental discipline of transformation from one state to another over a period of time right so it is a process yeah it's a process it has to be done over time and uh, for uh, for some acquaintances you feel that it is genetic as well in, in some, some in cases, some cases yes. yeah we are saying that in some cases it happens yeah how can we maintain this captivating mindset you know what and the uh, the mind is uh, uh, in mahabharata also arjuna said to krishna that chanchalam hi manah krishna so once you have that captivating mindset or you you know come uh, for one instance it will be there for other instance it will it might not be there because mind is chanchal yeah is quite keep uh, it keeps distracting so what do you think is the strategy to maintain you give some tips to maintain see yes. topper ko bhi ye hai ki ek bar once you if you have to talk yes. that is easy but to yes. maintain yes. that yes. Top, yes. Very topper difficult. level that is difficult yeah similarly yes. how do you tell that we can maintain that mindset so many strategies are there and i am also following those strategies because maintaining is very difficult task mm. to be continue with some something is a difficult task to start something is very easy mm. but right. to be continue is very difficult right so have that captivating mindset uh, during difficult times ab uh, bigger favorable time mein to har koi captivating mindset ko maintain kar lega right but when difficult times comes in our life how we maintain our captivating mindset so i am giving some pointers again which i am also following that practicing sure. self care engage in activities that promote mental and emotional well being such as exercise meditation and spending time with nature then i'm coming second point that surround yourself with positive influences like i am surround myself like like your type of people right so positive influence comes in our life seek support from friends family or mentors who uplift and encourage you right then reframing the challenges what comes in your life reframe it right look for opportunities for growth and learning in difficult situations and maintain a positive perspective from that right then i'm coming on the next point that to feel like you are making a uh, progress divide large activities into manageable chunks step by step doing step by step i'm setting a goal uh, ki main mere ko 40 kg weight kal weight loss karna hai lekin fit 40 kg weight loss karne ke liye mujhe aaj ekdam se aaj karke to nahi ho jayega i'm taking an i am this target in chunks ki pehle main ek month mein 2 kilo weight kam karti hu so i'm just dividing into chunks and then i achieve my targeted goal right so uh, you know ki uh, to feel like you are making progress set achievable targets like 2 kilo kam karti hu ek week mein mujhe 100 pound kam karna hai so these are the achievable targets why where my mindset is you know feel fulfillment ki ha maine achieve kar liya and when you achieve that just you know celebrate that thing give a chocolate to yourself oh my god i achieved that Right? Rewarding, rewarding reward yourself. Self. Yes, reward yourself so that that enthusiasm is continue in your life, right? On the other hand, we advise taking little daily step towards your goal, small small goals. Diet पे भी focus करना है, healthy diet लेना है. ऐसा नहीं कि सिर्फ मेरे को exercise पे ही जाना है. So दूसरी चीजें क्या support कर रही हैं मुझे? I'm just going with all, with them also. Then engaging in continuous learning. upskill yourself 
stay curious and seek knowledge and inspiration from books podcast online resources so many things are there in today's life right so we just going through with that right so these small things are there ki we just uh, you know ki follow these steps on the daily basis and we just maintain our captivating mindset see some of our uh, clients and viewers know they always say this is a follow up question okay. how to take self care i don't have time for self care so what is self care do you mean matlab what do you mean they don't self-care. have they are you know women are actually dissolved into their tasks they have to manage uh, the house they have to manage their work and they have to manage everything their in laws the relationships in between so uh, what i hear the most is that we don't have time for self care so what do you say yeah so i mean that self care it didn't means that uh, you just go to the parlor and sit for two or three hours and just relax i'm not saying about this i'm not going parlors now i'm uh, most probably Uh, i'm just going uh, sometimes but not uh, on the daily basis on the uh, monthly basis in the 6 months in the 8 months or in the 10 months or maybe a year so it's all right give uh, your yourself a time at least 10 minutes do some bad rituals see your face in the mirror and high five yourself this is self care appreciate yourself wow how what what the looks so just appreciate yourself just love yourself right brim with joy when you see something good in you yeah my hairs are growing now oh my god i'm looking good appreciate yourself this is a way to appreciate yourself self care it didn't means that you know just uh, you just take a rest and that is a self self care just give a me time to yourself At prioritize self prioritize self what others are saying for you doesn't matter what you are saying to yourself that matters right and so, how to choose like mentors how do you know that they are wishing only good for you like how to choose mentors that is also a question yeah so it's a very uh, big uh, topic i think mai is pe pura din baat kar sakti yeah just a brief one or two yeah, points i just want to a crisp uh, uh, yeah. the knowledge for you you know ki when you vibrate with something na you attract those people in your life you attract those circumstances in your life you want to seek knowledge then knowledgeable knowledgeable people what kind of knowledge you seek that that kind of knowledgeable people comes in your life that opportunities comes in your life so you know just be specific what you want for yourself be specific बिकॉज हम ना बहुत कुछ चाहते हैं लाइफ में बट स्पेसिफिक नहीं होते ये भी चाहिए वो भी चाहिए सो यूनिवर्स भी कंफ्यूज होता है कि क्या दे इनको पहले सो बी स्पेसिफिक वॉट यू वॉन्ट फर्स्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट सम मेंटोर इन योर लाइफ देन वाइब्रेट विद दैट आई वॉन्ट सम यू नो नॉलेजेबल मेंटर आई हैंड होल्ड सपोर्टिंग मेंटर इन माई लाइफ वेन यू वाइब्रेट दे आर अपियर इन योर लाइफ ऑटोमेटिकली आपको कहीं ढूंढने नहीं जाना पड़ेगा and But this is attract a, also to the wrong people yes. right yeah that is also there <laughs> because mentioned. we are vibrating with na we are vibrating with actually check yourself self care means check yourself completely what you are vibrating with so if you are vibrating with some uh, you know ki negative things aisa to nahi ho jayega wo aisa to nahi milega wo mujhe cheat to nahi karenge wo mujhe help to karenge i am doubting i am insecuring right i am insecure within actually So and have doubt. trust in people. Yes, trust in yourself. What you praying with, what you emitting with. So just have that belief in yourself. When you you know start appreciating yourself, you start caring yourself. Then you start believing in yourself. These are you know the interlinked things. That's why I'm saying that self care is must. Then you start believing what you are praying for. and then automatically things happens in your life mentors comes in your life knowledge comes in your life and i am a practical example of this right what i am emitting and this is a law of attraction actually yeah. what you are emitting you attract only those people such uh, situations circumstances around you if you are focusing on the problem then problems come in your life and if you are focusing on the solutions then solutions comes in your life yeah just to just whatever you said 
first thing is prioritize self yes practicing the self second thing is keep miniature specific goals yeah and on achieving that reward yourself yes third is you know have positive optimistic you know mindset mindset like can yes. instead of thinking can i do this say i will do this uh, i yes, can I do this i can do this yes yeah have some positive affirmations yes include meditation exercising and diet in your regime give yeah. enough time to yourself spend time with nature yeah. also yeah and do not compare yourself to others others if comparison is no a complete no no, no. live your life in your pace yeah and uh, what you said no there is a japanese uh, you know a word called kaizen that means daily improvement yes a little bit of improvement every day yes to see a better version of yourself and visualize yes. things right, right. Perfect. with positive affirmations yes you can also have a vision board if you want yes for everything personal professional relationship everything. Goals, for everything, everything for anything and everything yes right and this visualization is a wonderful tool yeah just use an it excellent tool yeah yes yeah how does you know captivating mindset plays play a role in resilience like uh, and perseverance uh because it is important to you know bounce back it is exactly. not that if you think positive only positive things happen like it happened to us negative things will also happen you will take efforts for that also yeah yeah so uh, you know ki uh, captivating mindset uh, can fuel innovation and creativity as we i i just already shared so it's prompting we are willingness to explore new 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 ideas new new things in our life right so when we focus on the new things right we we just uh, you know ki left that past first of all which you know ki uh, you know ki give us a uh, setback in our life again and again because hum us past mein ulajh jate hain regrets mein chale jate hain depression mein chale jate hain to resilient to bhul jaye resilient mind to kabhi nahi hoga because bar bar hum past mein ja rahe hain so kyunki hum nayi cheezon ko explore kar rahe hain हम नए नए आइडियाज को जनरेट कर रहे हैं इट इन एक्चुअली दिस कैप्टिवेटिंग माइंड एनकरेजेस इंडिविजुअल टू थिंक आउटसाइड ऑफ द बॉक्स राइट सो व्हेन वी आर थिंकिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ द बॉक्स वी जस्ट फॉरगेट व्हाट इन द बॉक्स एंड व्हेन वी जस्ट द ड्रॉप द व्हाट इन द बॉक्स देन वी ग्रो एंड वी डेवलप दिस रीसाइलेंस माइंड एंड वी कंटीन्यूअसली डेवलप इन आवर लाइफ पर्सनल प्रोफेशनल and make our mindset resilient where we deal with everything we handle everything so beautifully right exactly you know uh, what uh, you're telling no i am just uh, uh, reminding of a previous you know uh, guru said that forgiving when a um, you know client asked that guru that uh, um, i am not happy forgiving people so what should i do you know who broke your trust or who did something wrong to you so the guru beautifully said that forgiving is not for them forgiving is for yourself yes why why do you want to rent that person for free in your mind in your emotions exactly. thoughts every day you think of that person you you know have a grudge on him you have to take revenge so that you are not doing you are not achieving your purpose your purpose is lost somewhere so forgiving or forgetting is not for others it is for ourselves that's why we have to forgive very right agreed so uh, you know um this uh, how to the last question is like how to create a life long you know impression and influence you can give us your example as well you know uh, like maintaining the captivating mindset with the captivating mindset 
how to do that lifelong impression so many things are there i just want to share in few of them what i am following actually so you know ki we consider these for you know strategies be authentic and genuine what others are doing what others are saying i have we always just na put all these things in our mind first just laugh that what others are others are saying their their cause their business this is none of my business be authentic and genuine to yourself show your true self and express your ideas and values with confidence what others are doing this is not my business actually na so हम अब मोस्टली हम इस चीज को लेके ना ऑथेंटिक ऑथेंटिक सेल्फ खो देते हैं अपना हम जानवर नहीं होते बिकॉज समवन आर डूइंग लाइक दिस समवन आर डूइंग दिस दैट्स व्हाई आई एम डूइंग कांस्टेंट कंपैरिजन कंपैरिजन सो जस्ट बी योरसेल्फ बी ऑथेंटिक एंड जेन्युइन लाइक यू आर राइट एंड सेकंड थिंग इज दैट प्रैक्टिस एक्टिव लिसनिंग गिव अदर्स योर फुल अटेंशन इफ आई एम नॉट पेइंग यू अटेंशन then how can i receive what i want then how can i receive which is beneficial for me so show genuine interest in their thoughts and opinion and respond thoughtfully right so then you uh, you must uh, you know look like a leader or you must look like that problem solver because people are coming to you then otherwise not if you are not listening because there is a problem in this world today but you know no one want to listen no one have time to listen to you right so this is a very very be- best thing that to listen properly baithe hain hum sun rahe hain lekin hamara dimag kahin aur hai hum re silent nahi hai yeah right so ye captivating mindset hai na humko re silent banna sikhata hai ki main jiske sun rahi hu na genuinely mujhe uske sunna hai active listening ki practice karni hai right, right. then i'm coming on the third point that be empathetic understand and relate to others perspectives needs and emotions show a compassion towards them right and support what kind of support you you can provide just provide them that support right then demonstrate enthusiasm if i am talking very uh, lazily to you you are not interesting in me that time kya hai yaar bahut dheele se baat karti hai koi properly jawab nahi deti hai it's all right be enthusiastic that time to listen to others to listen their perspective show interest right in their needs in their emotions so that they will connect with you right then uh, you know ki uh, actually i just want to uh, quote a line here that let your passion and positivity shine through right right what a line let, let your passion and positivity you know, shine so my passion is to solve people if i am not giving that uh, you know energy that time how they will connect with me right why they are coming to me right so i am coming on the next point that share your stories and experiences like i am sharing today that uh, jo network glitch aaya it it doesn't matter for me it's all right this is a network glitch this is not my mind glitch <laughs> right so <it's> easy <laughs> just a network not just a network it's all right yeah. i'm coming again right with with lots of energy right so lead by example next one display the qualities and behaviors you want to inspire in others i'm inspiring that aap aisa baat karo aap aisa bolo if i'm not doing so so aapko lagega khud to kar rahe hain ye khud to pandit ji bengal nahi kha rahe aur mujhe gyan de rahe hain so like that so don't give only the gyan just lead by the example so this means you need to work on the first preach only role. what you practice preach yes. only what you practice practice don't what preach is... whatever you don't practice <laughs> exactly exactly so be a role model for positivity resilience and growth if you are right. showing through your behavior na they will all you know automatically attracted towards you then uh, seventh point is that communicate effectively Mm. clearly articulate your ideas your goals your vision and use the persuasive communication techniques mm. to convey your message and inspire actions then i'm coming on the next point that the build a meaningful relationship yeah just uh, just a minute like yeah. what you said for that you know mm. be assertive but not yes. be arrogant 
yeah don't, don't be arrogant be, just be assertive don't be arrogant i'm not saying arrogant no 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 i am saying whatever you be assertive but don't be yeah. arrogant yeah yes very right so coming on the next point that build a meaningful relationship cultivate a strong connection with others based on trust respect and mutual support and what what others are you know taking now this is not your cause you right. are giving full respect you are giving a you know best to your to them it's all right what others are taking this is not your business right and give them mutual support foster a sense of belonging and collaboration this is very important in today's world right and ha huh, next point is that continuously learn and grow so yeah. i am also doing that upskill myself if i am doing this if i am doing that i just don't forget to upskill myself learning learnings are very important see stay curious seek knowledge and embrace the personal and professional development share your learnings journey with others because if you are sharing your learning journey na they will attracted towards learning right and they are upskilling yourself them themselves right so these are few tips i am following and i am practicing for a, for the captivating mindset and it gives me immense benefits by applying these strategies consistently you can also leave a lasting impression and positively influence others with a captivating mindset exactly. with a smile <laughs> yeah smile yeah. smile, yeah. smile and learning and upskilling is a lifelong process yeah if the learning ends samjho ki life ends yes. <laughs> the day in the life yes. ends for me as well so i adding to adding one more point to what you said don't seek constant approval and validation what yes. we do is we see constant approval are isko pasand aayega kya usko pasand aayega kya ye likes hai kya ye kya hai so if it's if that right. is the case we can't make everybody happy friends yes yes very right there will be people who will be upset with you there will be people who will be happy with you there will be people who will be jealous with you jealous of you you know right you can't make everybody happy if you think that is right just go ahead with it yes. don't yes. seek constant approval or validation yes very nice point wonderful value you add here actually uh, this is a very important point i forget that so validation na hame sabko chahiye hota hai need hoti hai hamari hmm hai na लेकिन हमको क्या करना है इस इस नीड को अपनी नीड नहीं बनाना है एक्चुअली इस नीड को बनाने की वजह से हम सिर्फ वहीं पे स्टक हो जाते हैं एक्चुअली हमारी ग्रोथ रुक जाती है कितने लाइक्स आए किसी ने देखा या नहीं किसी ने कमेंट्स किया या नहीं किया इट्स ऑल राइट यू लाइक योर सेल्फ सफिशेंट इफ यू लव योर सेल्फ यू जस्ट लाइक योर कमेंट फर्स्ट इट्स ऑल राइट यू कमेंट योर सेल्फ इट्स ऑल राइट नो बडी कमेंट्स ऑन योर पोस्ट और वट self love and self respect self love yes yes love yourself and then then you gain that resilient mind automatically if you start loving yourself so this validation is not required i think yeah yeah i am you know i just made out some points uh, so that we can uh, you know attain some emotional wisdom why right? mm-hmm. by See my map out is emotional intelligence plus emotional metamorphosis is equal to emotional wisdom. So what are we doing? That some tips to you know improve emotional wisdom. First thing is to communicate assertively, responding calmly instead of reacting. For yes. every instant we start reacting yes. instead of that just respond to it. be an active listener as you said be self motivated maintain a positive attitude you know long for a purpose don't long for perfection very right practice self awareness that means self care and becoming aware of your emotions so that you can control them and bring a paradigm shift whenever needed learn how to take constructive criticism kyunki constructive criticism will help you in growth yes 
if somebody tells me today that uh, you know your technical mic or the sound or the visual is was not that uh, you know proper and this is the way to fix it i will take that because yes. that is a constructive criticism yes. i am new to the technical field so i would definitely take that constructive criticism yes. because that will help me to do better next time yes and empathize with others as you said learn problem solving skills you know don't depend on others just if you can just develop how to solve the problem by yourself just as we did now <laughs> in the case of the network glitch yes. and be approachable and sociable as you said that whatever the other person gives you don't take that you give him the positive vibes you yes. treat him positively you treat him with regards then i think you know then we can then you can uh, you know earn self respect and the aura will also reflect very right i think uh, you know we can uh, end today's live you know it was a wonderful session yeah it's yes. amazing well, live today yeah. <laughs> it's give us yes. lots of experience uh, a bit late <laughs> uh due to the technical glitches but it happened it happened for good yeah so thank you for coming and joining me so much to give me this opportunity thank you so much okay thank you for all our viewers for listening do you have any topic on if you have any topic on mental health or on ayurveda or any other related psychotherapy topics you can just put it in the comments so that we can we can discuss it in the next coming session give us yeah. some ideas on what do you want to listen to so accordingly we can discuss and uh, these discussions are coming every week so stay tuned thank you thank you so much have a nice day thank, thank you, you.